Hey, hey everybody, welcome back to another uh, a van life session there. Right now I'm just uh, going to do a review, just a quick little one there. I'm going to uh, review the Starlight Coca-Cola Creations, huh? Well, um, we'll see how this bad boy is right here, you know, we'll try this out. I don't know, um, it's space flavored. Look there, you can kind of see like some outer space stuff going on there, you know. It's kind of like a red transparentish. I'm, I'm imagining it probably tastes like blackberry or blueberry. Doesn't say. But we'll see what space tastes like, you know. Maybe this is the first uh, sort of from the moon. Maybe they really got people up there living up there and they just haven't told us. Who knows? Who knows? Mm. That smells like Pepsi Blue almost. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it's anything that uh, spectacular, to be honest with you. It's, it's all right. It's not that bad, but nothing right home about, you know? Coca-Cola... Signature or Starlight Limited Edition. Maybe I should just buy a bottle, hold on to it. Six months, sell it for 500 bucks on eBay. Nah, I'm just messing around. People do that stuff, though. But, I mean, the aftertaste lingers a while, I would say. I could still taste it. And it's not a bad taste, but I guess... The aftertaste is really good though. I kind of like the aftertaste, but the initial, I guess just not knowing what space would taste like. I don't know. It's not bad though. Probably be really good with like some ice. Yeah, I'd say it's some type of, like, berry, though. You know? Black raspberry. Raspberry. I don't know, but... I'd say something like that. But, yeah, you can tell it's reddish, kind of transparent. You know, I could see my fingers through it. It's kind of hard to see it on the camera. But, yeah, you can see my fingers through it, you know? So... Yeah, it's good though. I might buy it again. So, one of my least favorite things about Coca Cola though is how fizzy it is. They don't necessarily fizz when you open it, but when it hits your mouth, it just fizzes right up. And it's like, oh, good lord. But um, let's see here. On a scale of one to five, I give it a four. I give it a four. You know, four is being generous. Because the, the aftertaste uh, lingers, at least in my mouth, it's lingering right now. I can still taste it. 
for a while after each sip. And like I said, it's not a bad taste, so that's a good thing right there. Um, yeah, four out of five. So maybe I'll uh, I got a couple of, so I had a I had like a little eye crusty there I shouldn't be doing that on the camera but yeah I had a little eye crusty just get out of there and maybe I'll get uh I'll bring one to work put it in a cup with some ice try it that way because it'd probably be better that way you know and I like how they have the big recycle me on there too excuse me do a, that's what I'm saying it's so fizzy it just sits in your stomach and you just have to release some fizz there that's a that's my least favorite thing about the coca-cola products there uh coca-cola with coffee is pretty good I've had that before worked out a deli in New York and I used to do the um coca-cola or no Pepsi we had Pepsi on tap, and I'd do Pepsi in my coffee. So it was good right there, man. And then Coca-Cola, years later, this was like years ago. This was like six, seven years ago. Maybe even longer, eight years ago or something like that. But yeah, and then Coca-Cola does it, and I'm like, oh man, that's pretty cool. I've had it, but so I'm more of, a, of like a Pepsi-leaning guy usually, you know? If I go for like Pepsi or Coke, I usually go Pepsi. But when they have weird products like this, I always like like that. And I like the, I know that Coca-Cola owns like whatever Sprite or something like that. And I do like Sprite. So I know they own other things other than Coca-Cola. So I drink their other beverages, you know. I, I just choose Pepsi over Coca-Cola. But I try the Starlight out like when Pepsi does their Pepsi Blue. I love that, you know, it brings me back to my childhood. Because I think I used to drink Pepsi Blue and eat, uh, the, I think the guacamole Doritos were out at that time too, and those were bomb. Mm. Doritos needs to bring back the guacamole Doritos. Even just drinking this with a bag of guacamole Doritos would be so bomb right now. Yeah, I'll set that there. I drank half, I drank half the bottle. Oh, well, you can't really see. I'll drink, I'll drink right down past the line so you guys can see. But. Yeah, pretty much, uh, pretty much right there, you know. Right at the, the wrapper. So I'm going to uh, save the rest because I actually, um, I have, a uh, Chinese food to eat. Chinese food to eat. So, um, I'm going to eat that. So yeah, so um, I said I rated four out of five. It's not bad. If you see it, try it out. It's pretty good. The taste lingers a while, at least for me. Let me know in the comments if you try it out. If you like the video, drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you want, because I'm always doing reviews and stuff like that. I'm always finding stuff. I said I live in my van full time, um, so I'm always staying at like Walmart's, going to truck stops, whatnot like that. So I'm always seeing stuff, finding stuff like that that I'm just going to review randomly, you know, so if you want, keep checking them out, I do smoke sessions, you know, because we we'll have to burn it down there, talk about some psychedelics, some uh, traveling stories, because we've traveled, I've traveled just within the country, I've, I've backpacked stuff like that, so, yeah, but anyway, four out of five for the uh, Starlight Edition, space flavored Coca-Cola, you know, so if you want to see me do any other things, just let me know, you know, if I could get it, I'll order it if I have to, you know, I'll try it out, review it, you know, but thanks for watching, stay safe out there, spread some positive vibes, man, keep on going, alright, peace.